Lean with it. Lean with it. Whoa. 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 What up, my squad? Back on YouTube. About to give y'all the truth. Y'all already know. Let's get into this. Everybody sound the same. Why they imitating? Me, I'm spitting the real with no imagination. Better give it all you got if we collaborate. Before we get started with this video, make sure you like the video and smash the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you can get notified when I upload on my channel. So y'all have been asking for a Q&A from me and my brothers. Of course, we don't have Lance here today, so we're just gonna do a Jamal, a Jamal Q&A today. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all sent us questions to our IG and Snapchat, and we got some questions for y'all. We're not gonna answer every single question because we got a whole bunch of questions, and we actually have something really dope coming for you guys, and we don't wanna spoil it by answering all of your questions here. So yeah, we gonna answer a few. And yeah, if y'all have any more questions or want Jamal to answer something um, in particular, just leave it down in the comments below and he'll be responding from his YouTube channel, which is A Leaf King Lock. So make sure y'all go check out my brother's YouTube channel. Yes. He's almost at a, a, what, 1K? Yes. So, and when are you putting your first video up there? Um, hmm, that's what I'm soon. trying to find out. Real soon. Real, real soon. Okay, we're gonna give you that. At least get to these questions. All right. First question, what part of Houston are you from? Southwest, A-Leaf, oh, I'm representing. Shit. Yep, he always representing y'all, A-Leaf. You could probably find him at the A-Leaf store. For sure, you gonna find me somewhere at A-Leaf. If you in Houston, you gonna find me regardless. Okay. I'm everywhere. Has building a relationship been difficult? Any tips on keeping it kosher? Mm. Mm. No, wait, now when she say, Relationship? Are we talking about our relationship or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, our relationship in general. I guess. Being in your relationship, I don't think it's difficult. Mm -mm. I don't think it was difficult at all. I think it's like building any other relationship, getting to know someone. Just like if you got a new friend in these streets. <laughs> you know? Like, I think make us being blood related makes it easy for us to, you know, build a relationship. Yeah. Because we're not half brother and sister. We're full brother and sister. Like, right. And then we didn't grow up together. So I think that was a plus too, cause I know a lot of siblings that actually fight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sure. Siblings that don't get along and stuff like that. And I think had we had a childhood together, we might have disagreed on certain things as we were growing up and got into fights with each other, or arguments and stuff like that. But now that we're older, it's easier to have a mature relationship, I guess. A lot easier. And you know. We don't always agree on everything like regular people, but we we're met, two different people. We met grown, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Grown as fuck. Exactly. But um, yeah, I don't think it was hard at all. I think it's actually a really great experience for myself to learn my brothers and you know, it's cool. I'm having fun, I love it. What's a personality trait we have in common? Uh, I think <laughs> we're, both, we're both hustlers. A lot of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We all got similar traits, I think. Like, me and Lance are really, really, like, hyper goofy. Jamal's more cool, calm, collective goofy. Like, he's goofy, but he ain't gonna be, like, bouncing off walls like me and Lance. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> me and Lance be hoo, 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 bouncing off walls. Like, I'm gonna be like, bro, chill out. Y'all doing too much. <laughs> like, like, like yeah, y'all doing too much. Exactly. He's the one that's like, y'all embarrassing me. <laughs> you know? Um, but I feel like me and Jamal got a lot of personality traits when it comes to like the stuff that we do, you know, like um, we're both hustlers. Not saying Lance is not a hustler because he's damn sure grinding it out right now. We like entertainment. You know, um, we like entertainment. Yeah, we're in the entertainment side of things. We like to play games. Like, we like to dress fly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's, there's a few things that um, we have in common. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. We're pretty much twins. Mm -hmm. um, triplets if you add Lance in. Yeah. But yeah, we're pretty much identical, y'all. It's, it's crazy because who knew that somebody out there living a whole different life was exactly like you. You know what I'm really? saying? Like living a whole different yeah. life, different families When I everything. seen Lance, Lance was looking at me like, yeah. Like staring at me. Yeah. Like, I was like, me too. You okay, bro? <laughs> I was like, bro, you okay? I know, there was a, a time where where <laughs> Jamal was actually uh, slumped on the toilet because we had a real <laughs> drunk night. 
and Lance was just staring at me. He was just like, he started crying and he was like, man, I'm just so happy that we found each other. Like, um, he, he was just really, really happy and we were just crying and Jamal, he was in, on the toilet slump for like four hours. Slump. <laughs> they um, thought I wasn't good, but I was good. I, yeah. just, I just was tired, that's all. Exactly, he ain't move at all. He didn't budge. We thought something was wrong. Hell, we was banging on the door, couldn't get in, so we gave up. All right, next question. Have you met any of his parents and family? I have actually met Jamal's father, um, which great dude. And, you know, I'm very happy that my brother got raised by a man like that. You know, his dad is really cool. and brought up my brother the right way, taught, gave him morals, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just really, really thankful. Um, but yeah, I did meet his father. Um, I've met some of his family through like social media, but not in person yet, but it's definitely gonna happen. Yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And he's already met a lot of my family because yeah. they're mostly out here in Dallas. So um, I'm Jamal. still trying to meet pops. Exactly, and he lives in Corpus Christi, so we don't have to take him all to the South Texas, you know, and let him know how it goes down there. Who do you think will have the first child between us? <laughs> oh man, you know, mine's a little more difficult situation. I'm hoping it's her. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm hoping, hoping that, it's that it's her, but they're waiting. <laughs> they're waiting on me. Okay, I'm hoping that it's him. I personally think it probably will be me and Les that have a child before he does. Um, mainly because the age difference, but the good thing is I can't have a oopsie. I just plan mine out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. This one here can have a oopsie daisy, okay? Oopsie daisy. And come November, it's gonna get a little difficult for women in these streets and hopefully we can combat that because I feel like women are responsible for their own bodies and nobody else should be able to tell them what they can and can't do with their bodies. Right. But that's another topic, we won't get into that. I'm taking my time. Okay, I'm hoping my brother does have one first so I can have me a niece and nephew. No baby. You know, and my baby mom's life. ready for, for grandkids. Mom's ready for grandkids. Mom's so ready. It's like, uh, somebody gotta get to this work. Jamal, have you met your biological father? No. <laughs> no. Don't plan on it. Oh. Ooh. Not to be mean or anything like that, but man got excuses, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I ain't with it. I ain't with it. Probably won't. Probably won't ever happen. I feel you. And he's saying that because our father is a little different. Yeah, like he had eight kids. There's eight of us. And um, he's not really the type of guy to, he's not a family guy. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to say too much, but it's, it's almost like not worth it their time to like try to, you know what I'm saying? When when somebody, I feel like if someone wants to be in your life, they'll leave with action and our father hasn't done that. So it's like, what's the point, you know? And he not missing out on anything is what I told him. I keep in contact with our father for all of my siblings, um, but that's just how I am. I'm a communicator, but I see right through, right through the BS, if you know what I mean. You know? He's <laughs> definitely that. <laughs> Jamal not having it at all. Not having it. So, um, once Jamal's mind is made up, it's pretty much made up, uh, yeah. Were you upset with mom and dad for not telling you? No, okay, so I was, <laughs> this is a good one. So I wasn't really upset, but very disappointed. Like I wasn't mad or anything, but I was disappointed. Cause I feel like I should have known this a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. but I understand the reasons for not telling me, you know, people can be rebellious to their parents, you know, mm -hmm. and just end up being like, well, you know, I don't want to deal with you guys for not telling me and right. stuff like that can happen. Um, but I guess me knowing at the time that I know, was good because you know I'm old enough, I'm mature, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I can handle stuff like this easier. Um, who knows time. how I would have turned out if I knew this a little bit earlier? Yeah. So um, yeah, I feel like yeah, it's better. It's better right now for me to know. Um, so yeah, I was disappointed, but not really too upset. 
Yeah, that was my main concern with actually even reaching out to him was the fact that he didn't know, and I fi found out that he didn't know through the person who found him for me. And yeah, that, that was my main concern, but it turned out to be good. When you received the call, what was your reaction? Like, this is a joke, right? Like, are you, like, are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Okay, so, um, when you received the call, well, I didn't receive a call first. First thing, uh, I got a, I got a message on Facebook, and I was actually at the gym at the time. I was at the gym, and I get a message on Facebook, and I read it, and this lady Jerry's messaging me saying that, okay, well, I have information about your half siblings. Turns out they're not my half siblings either. <laughs> but but she, she's like, oh, you got half siblings, whatever, da 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 da. And now I'm reading it. This is just spam to me. Yeah. To me, it's just spam. So the only, so yeah, of course, I'm thinking it's a joke. But then it got to a point where I was, I was in disbelief and Jerry said something that wasn't quite professional <laughs> for me to know like, okay, I'm not playing with you, Jamal. <laughs> like, like this is, this is for real. It's like, serious. Yeah, I, I said it uh, like a few times. I'm like, okay, like, no, you're like, you're just fucking with me, whatever the case may be. Yeah. I asked her some questions and she was able to like, answer them and she sent me a copy of my birth certificate like who does that crazy like she sent me a copy of my own birth certificate and then that's how i kind of knew okay like it's not a game <clears throat> then i exchanged numbers and then that's when me and celeste talked so from there it was real um cray cray and here's another good one uh did you ever feel like something was off now just looking back like thinking oh that's why all right so the only reason i can say that i thought that something may have been off um when i was growing up i i saw what was it no when i when i was growing up i didn't see a picture of me like being held in my mom's arms when i was first born and I never saw pictures of my mom pregnant. So so that kind of gave me an idea when I was younger. I thought about it a few times, but I never really said anything. Because when you're young, you don't really think about stuff mm -hmm. in depth like that. Yeah. So I wasn't really thinking about it that much, but but I did wonder why. When yeah. I was young, like, why don't I have that? Mm -hmm. And then, 2018, I found out why. <laughs> exactly. And then I seen the real pictures. Uh -huh. Okay. It's yeah. legit. Crazy. That's all I got right now. Yeah, we're not going to give you guys too many questions because, uh, like I said, we have something planned for y'all that's going to include my brother. And um, I want y'all to see that. And, you know, hope there's going to be actually more questions being answered uh i just don't want to put it all in this one video because we can go there's a list of questions we can answer right now um but yeah let me know what you guys think leave it in the comments down below and make sure you go subscribe to my brother's channel it's a leaf king lock i'm gonna leave the link in the I'm description sure box below make sure y'all go check out my brother's channel a leaf king lock like I said, I'm going to leave it in the description box below for you guys so y'all can have the link. And if you have any questions that you think Jamal, you want, like you want Jamal to answer ASAP, leave it down in the comments down below and he'll be looking through the comments and responding to you from his channel. Quick. And we will see you guys in the next video. My squad, I'm out. Nothing less than I would, you can never knock me out